Catholic college was $36,000 a year. You know, so to buy a $1,500 product or an $8,000 conference that was going to teach me how to make more money than what I was making seemed to me uh, pretty much a no-brainer. You know, if it was going to give us the education we needed to never have a doctor tell me my husband was going to die because of his, you know, his, uh, his a-hole of a boss, then, then yeah, I was going to do that, and, and it did. You know, that education plus our determination and our consistency of effort made us a lot of money, uh, millions of dollars. Uh, we've lived just, Tony knows, just an outrageous lifestyle. I mean, we've been all over the world, and, and really what it boils down to, you know, John and I work together. Um, his office is right next door. We eat lunch together every day, breakfast together as a family every day. Um, my daughter's here. We live wherever we want. Uh, you know, Friday we're headed down to Disney for a week uh, or, or like five days before the, the Miami event. And we have friends all over the world and, and it's created this incredible lifestyle. Um, but the other thing, you know, I'll, I'll share with you, Tony, you brought up something that Aaron said about, you know, it's, it's as easy to sell a low ticket item as it is a high ticket item. And and I've sold both, and I 100% agree with that because people have the same two objections every single time. No, you could be selling them something for five dollars or something for fifty thousand dollars, and the same two objections come up, and it's always, always 100% of the time, time and money. And if you understand that no matter what you're selling, those are the objections that are going to come up. When someone says they don't have the money, really what they're saying is they haven't seen the value to their life in what you've offered them. And when you learn how to have that conversation, um, you know, I've, I've had people call me or ask me before, you know, um, well, people say they don't have the money. And I'll say, well, what do you say when they say that? And they'll say, well, you know, I understand that they don't have the money because of the economy or this or that or and, you know, the, the real thing is, well, what about the economy? And they'll say, well, you know, it's tough times or whatever. And what I say is actually the reality is that there's more money right now today than there was 11 years ago.